everyone, I'm Caroline and I'm here back on the Relish channel. Now today I'm going to be cooking nasi goreng. Now it's very easy to make because basically it's fried rice. So nasi is rice, goreng is fried. And there are just a few key ingredients. Once you've got these nailed, you're going to make it tasting really authentic and perfect at home. And I'm going to actually blend everything together. That's fine. So just blend until everything is nice and smooth. And the nice thing about nasi goreng as well is that you can actually add whatever you like to it. So if you want to make it into more of a full on meal, add some chicken, add some prawns, add some beef, you know, whatever you fancy really. All right, get your wok nice and hot. You see now it's smoking. That's good, okay? So the key just to doing any kind of stir fry dishes is all your ingredients ready to cook and then it's only going to be a few minutes in the pan. And I almost forgot the key ingredient. Oh, I've got some rice. <laughs> so this is, um, this is rice that I've cooked up way ahead of time and it's gone cold. Okay, just make sure you get it all nice and separated first. All right. This is also a very good dish to do with leftover rice. So if you do have leftover rice, don't throw it away. You can keep it for the next day and make this. My oil's going in. I'm going to add a dash of some sesame oil too. All right, get that nice and hot. Now we're going to start by cooking up the little paste that you made. I'm just going to fry this for a couple of minutes. So you want to cook this, yeah, just for a couple of minutes, like this. Okay. I want you to see it browning up a little bit. We can now add in some chopped green beans. Let's just thump those in. Let those cook a little bit. Stir that all together. Okay, I'm now gonna add, crack a couple of eggs in to the side. Let's just literally pop them in at the side there. And this is almost like you're making an omelet, okay? Let the bottom settle, then just give it a good stir around. And once it's halfway cooked, then all you need to do now is add the rice in. That's enough. Give everything a big stir together. And this is where you have to be quick, otherwise it'll stick to the bottom. Once everything is cooked, stirred together, I'm just going to add one sauce. And that sauce, if you like your Southeast Asian cooking, it's kind of essential. This is some um, sweet soy sauce. We call it ketchup manis. So you can add some of this. Let's add a good drizzle. Stir that all together. All right, so there you go. Nasi goreng is done. How easy was that? I could eat this any time of the day. <laughs> Even breakfast. Now, to put some extra things with this, I'm actually going to fry an egg. There we go, one egg on top, sunny side up. Now I'll just finish this with a few extra spring onions and I don't mind a bit of spice, so I'm having some chilli. So that is how you make a nasty goreng. I hope you all really, really enjoy this recipe. Please leave me your comments and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of these awesome recipes. Enjoy! Concentrate on that. Dude. Dude. <laughs>